up everybody and welcome to another episode of the motherland experience it's your girl nye here and today i have a wonderful guest for you so sit back relax and don't go anywhere <laughs> Hey everyone, just a little bit of housekeeping first. I wanted to thank all of our wonderful new subscribers who have joined the RKE family. We are more than happy to have you. And I'm sitting here today, this lady right here makes me smile. Her attitude and her spirit is just so infectious. Every time I'm with her, I just want to smile. She gives such positive energies and positive vibes. Thank you, you do, you thank do. You. Thank you. And she's affectionately called little happy bird so please, <laughs> so please help me welcome Leetra to the channel hi Leetra hello Nye oh uh, how are you I'm well thank you so much and how are you oh I am wonderful Good. Uh, thank you so much for coming on the channel thank I you I really appreciate it it's an honor I'm so happy to be here thank uh, you so please can you share with us where you are from I am from the United States of America okay. and I hail from the Pikes Peak area which is Colorado Springs Colorado Colorado 719. Ooh, 719. 719. Okay. Um, <laughs> prior to relocating to Ghana, I mm -hmm. was in Florida for an extended time. So, okay. yes, Colorado by way of Florida. <laughs> now to Ghana. Now to Ghana. Yes. I like that. Yes. I like that. So, how long have you been in Ghana? This August will make two full years. Wow, two years. Two okay, years. I see you jamming over there. <laughs> How do you like it thus far? I am in learning. So mm -hmm. um, when people ask me that, I get asked that so often. Mm -hmm. And I have had to train myself to slow my roll. Uh, and gotcha. what I mean by that is anything that's new is exciting. Yeah. But then you have to hit the ground and meet reality. Mm, so there's okay. a balance between the happy place, because she called me the happy bird. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about how I got that in the moment. <laughs> but um, there's a place between that and mm. understanding the realities of certain things. And mm. so although I'm enthusiastically happy here, mm -hmm. I also have to realize that life is life no matter where you are. That's true. And relocating is a big deal. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I like it to answer your question and I'm sure we'll get to other things soon. Okay, well I, what you said, you said a mouthful, okay? Because I think that coming from the diaspora, you know, it's it's very easy to get swept up and caught up in the excitement yes. of being here in the motherland. Yes. But when it's a difference between visiting here That's and right. living here. Exactly. Okay. And I live here. Exactly. Okay, exactly. so there's still some tourist, a lot of tourist places. People are like, have you mm -hmm. been here? Have you been here? My answer is no, 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 no. <laughs> because <laughs> I had to come here and mm -hmm. get established. Right. Okay. Right. And so my goal was not to come here as a tourist, but mm -hmm. as a person who resides here. Gotcha. And so my focus and my order of assignment is different. Mm -hmm. So yes, I would have loved to have hit all the awesome tourist places. Right. And that doesn't mean I won't. Mm -hmm. But just for this season, I am in um, I'm in planting mode. Mm, I'm in like establishing mode. I'm yes. in um, a common accomplishing mode, some 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 deep seated areas that some groundbreaking things that will set myself mm -hmm. up and my children's children's children uh, for the future. Okay, so you're looking into the future. Always. I like that. I like that. Always. So tell me something. Three words to describe your experience in Ghana. Capsulate in three words for me. Thank you so much, Nye, for that awesome mm. challenge. <laughs> um, captivating, mm. invigorating, mm -hmm. and challenging. Oh, so can you elaborate on that for me, sis? Okay, <laughs> so let's go with um, captivating. It is captivating to be surrounded by the incredible people of Ghana, yeah. the beauty of the people. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there are a lot of people who say a lot of things right, about right. Ghana mm -hmm. and Ghanaians, mm -hmm. but I love Ghanaians because there's a richness on the inside of them mm. that they really, I don't think, they know they have. Yes. And it's beautiful to see. So it's captivating to me to be surrounded by people who can go generations back and know mm. their lineage. Whereas yes. people from the diaspora have to look at, you know, uh, one, two, three, and me. And, <laughs> right. 
right, you know, exactly. ancestry, very you know, all of mm -hmm. these DNA companies to try to find out who their great, great, great grandfather was. But in this setting, in this group of wonderful people, mm -hmm. they know, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> and so I'm in awe to just listen to the stories of people talking about their their relatives that they've known and they've grown up with and that there's this 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 unity and this right. community amongst families here and tribes and clans. And so that's captivating to me. Yes, you know? I, I get what you're saying. I really do because coming from the West, you know, we're kind of a little bit cut off. Exactly. And we have to, like I said, go through 23 and Me mm -hmm. and Ancestry.com, you right. know, and all that stuff mm -hmm. to find out our roots. But yeah. everything is here. Yes, they it know. Is, they know. And it's beautiful. It is. It's gorgeous. It's awesome. And it's so awesome. I glean and I just take Take in mm -hmm. the richness of their knowledge of their history and their mm -hmm. family. I'm captivated by the fact that there are people here that are real royalty, mm -hmm. you know? Yes. And <laughs> I'm captivated because I don't have to look to Buckingham Palace for uh -huh. that royalty, exactly. but there's royalty that's here. Not the real royalty. That's not the real royalty. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, you heard what I said and I didn't, I'm not, not going to take it back. <laughs> um, I am captivated by the fact that although they're called chiefs here, I still mm -hmm. call them kings. Mm -hmm. because they are kings and they are queens and so to be surrounded by that is mm -hmm. captivating um and then invigorating yeah just so because that. that's who i am mm. um i look for things that invigorate me and um i'm not a um i'm not a what's the word um adrenaline Junkie, junkie right. I'm not that, <laughs> mm -hmm. but I really do find value in, I can meet someone on the street and not know that person, but if I have the opportunity to connect with that person, mm -hmm. I'm invigorated by who they are, mm -hmm. what their story is, what their journey is. Yes. And so being here, being new, I've just have all these things that are invigorating towards me. Mm -hmm. And of course, the, the natural beauty of Ghana is oh, amazing. It is. I mean, the unspoiled parts, it really makes you feel like I'm in Africa. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's just so yes. lush, so beautiful. It's gorgeous. So scenic. Yes. Like, it's beautiful. Where you live, yeah. oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely I would beautiful. pitch a tent there if I could. Come on, girl. <laughs> Come on. So, and then um, challenging, because mm -hmm. again, I, I alluded to the factor earlier that I have started a brand new life here. Yeah. Not a new part of life, not mm. some new parts of life. My entire life is starting afresh anew. Right. Right. And so that comes with some challenges. Mm. And so, um, you know, there's a lot of extra budgeting that has to happen. Yes. You know, I have a business mm -hmm. meeting with myself. Today is the 29th. On uh -huh. um, tomorrow, I have a business with, meeting with myself. With yourself? Every 30th okay, of I the like month. That. <laughs> because I need to have a business meeting with myself mm -hmm. to say, okay, what's the budget for this month coming forward mm -hmm. and three months forward, six months forward, nine months forward. Tw I do it every month mm -hmm. because I need to make sure that my finances are going to be, I assign my money to mm -hmm. what I need to accomplish and everything is very calculated, but mm -hmm unexpected things happen yes right so last night uh we had some issues with our electricity so we uh -oh. had to have the electrician come mm -hmm. to review some things mm -hmm. you know and um so those things happen it, life mm -hmm. happens no matter right. where you are yeah. but it's even more challenging when you really are new to a place you don't have exactly. a lot of um close neck connections yet mm -hmm. i'm building connections right, and i'm right. thankful for those connections but they're still new so it's just challenging sometimes emotionally and mentally and physically but we're here right and that, and you just bless the most high for that right <laughs> no, like, do not. i'm making it we're here we're we here. getting through yeah you know we're getting through so how do you you know you're saying that you face challenges mentally you know spiritually sure. physically how do you overcome that oh i have to do self-care Okay, mm. so um, I've learned that before coming to Ghana. Mm. Self-care is imperative to my survival. Mm, gotcha. um, I take time to 
slow down and breathe and I mm -hmm. allow myself mm -hmm. to not ignore my emotions mm -hmm. but to allow my emotions to happen you know yeah. so being a person that was grown I grew up in the church you know mm -hmm. and okay. we were taught to you're too blessed to be stressed <laughs> right that term you're too blessed to be stressed <laughs> okay we do mm -hmm. know that the most high has us right. I am I am covered I mm -hmm. am taken care of but that doesn't mean I have to ignore how I mm -hmm. feel Yes. Because trust me, if you don't deal with how you feel, mm -hmm. your feelings will deal with you later. Uh, you okay? can say that again. Okay. You really can. You, you can't can outrun it. Mm -hmm. You can delay it. You can try to shove it down. You can try to control it. And you can try to, yeah. you know, and I'm just going to say it like I say, uh, by God's grace, I'm fine. Listen, sometimes you don't feel fine. Yeah. Okay. We yeah. know we are fine, mm -hmm. but sometimes we don't feel fine. So a part of my self-care is is to allow me to have my moments of emotions, mm -hmm. acknowledge what they are and say, okay, that's how I feel, mm -hmm. but my reality is not going to be always this. Exactly. You see? Exactly. This so, another day. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to allow this temporary emotion because it is a, going to be a temporary emotion. I, I I'll allow it to have its moment. <laughs> okay. Right. I do what I, I do. There's a Kleenex box next to the bed. <laughs> right. Just like take it and just like. Just let me, let me go ahead. Have that little <laughs> cry. Yeah. And then I say, okay, now who has God made me? Who mm -hmm. am I? What tools and talents has he given me to get to a different place? Amen. So I allow mm -hmm. myself in my mm -hmm. self-care regimen to have those moments. But then after that, I'm good. I go in, I have my little spa time. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Stand for yourself. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. There's not a professional spa in the world that can outdo what I do with my spas. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Ladies, ask me my secrets. I'll tell you. <laughs> so um, that is how I deal with a lot of that. And then, mm -hmm. of course, prayer, meditation, mm -hmm. and um, affirmations, and just good fun just yeah, having a good just time. having a good time just having a good time you know i'm glad that you addressed that because some people coming here from the diaspora this is a totally different way of life yes. so i've even spoken to certain people and it's easy sometimes to you know get into your emotions maybe to sometimes feel a little bit of isolation yes. a little bit of depression you know mm -hmm. just trying to figure it out yes. so what you're saying i think is really key mm -hmm. it you really have to take care of yourself you especially being in another country in another culture. Yeah. So what would you say how Ghana has enriched you? I know you're building a house. Uh -huh. You are. I you're am. building your hulu humble abode. I am. I am. And you know, and you have done so many other things here in Ghana. So how has Ghana enriched you? Wow. How has Ghana enriched me? It's caused me to think globally. Mm, okay. So sometimes people move here, they think the motherland, right. but they limit themselves to that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I am a person that is now I'm globally thinking. And yes. so I am enriched by Ghana specifically mm -hmm. because I have always known. Mm -hmm. And for those who don't know, Ghana has single handedly mm -hmm. blessed the entire world. Yes. OK. The riches of the world mm -hmm. have been accomplished because of what has come through this land from Come this on. people, yes. from this raw material. Mm -hmm. So I am enriched by knowing that and it's empowering. Mm -hmm. And so when I see other countries and how well their economic statuses are, mm -hmm. I have a foundation in knowing that it came from here. Amen. They could Come not on. accomplish Say that. Say that again. They could not have <laughs> achieved those yes. riches without it coming from here. Mm -hmm. So I'm enriched because I will never allow the words that Ghana is a poor country. How is that? How? Thank you. How? Thank you. How, is mm -hmm. Ghana poor How is Ghana poor when it supplies the world with things? That there are royalties in this world that could not have been royalties without the blood, sweat, tears, and the raw yes. materials from this place. So that's Ooh. what enriches me. Oh, I love that. I really do. I love that because I don't think we really know who we are and what we have mm. as a people. And on this continent, I mean, you see, it's the breadbasket of the world. Mm -hmm. And being here in Ghana, it's not called the Gold Coast for nothing. That's right. Okay. And why are <laughs> other countries moving here? Exactly. You see. Give you food for thought, right? Don't you know? <laughs> 
gives you some food for thought. Right. Well, segueing into, I know that you have, your, I know your son, Michael. Yes. Shout out to Michael. Hi, son. And, and you also have other kids in yes. the States as well. Yes. So I'm going to ask you a really, um, a personal question. Okay. Um, how is it having, being a mom and having a young person here with you, but also being away from your kids in the States? Because some people have loved ones that they're separated yes. from abroad. You know, yes. a lot of people are separated from their parents, separated mm. from their children. Mm. So how do you deal with that? That has been single-handedly the mm -hmm. hardest thing for me. Mm -hmm. um, when I first started realizing that I was going to start transitioning to relocate to Ghana, mm -hmm. I spent six months crying nonstop oh. because I literally could not even comprehend the mm -hmm. thought of not having my children with me. Right. Although they are adults and mm -hmm. they are well-rounded adults. Mm -hmm. They're doing well for themselves. Yeah. We're a family and right. we love each other and we are tight. And so um, it was very difficult for me to even um, come to the realization that I was no longer going to be with my um, other two daughters. Mm -hmm. And I love you ladies. I love you mama. Mama mm -hmm. loves you. Shout out. <laughs> um, so to say that was the hardest thing for me, and um, I'm very grateful for technology that has allowed us to mm -hmm. stay um, somewhat connected, right. but it's nothing like being able to physically be in right. contact with the people that you love. Mm -hmm. And so um, I would say that um, I did go home for a month and mm -hmm. I got the opportunity to hug them Aww. and love on them and vice versa. <laughs> I know they missed you. It was such a wonderful time with mm -hmm. them and um, just to to leave them again, mm -hmm. it was another, oh, <laughs> right? It's like shot to the heart, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, um, so that has been the challenge mm -hmm. for me and it's not easy um, to have my son with me. Mm -hmm. I'm very grateful for him because he was like, mom, you going where? <laughs> oh, okay. So when are we leaving? Right, it's like, I'm going with you. And <laughs> he just refused to allow his mother to come to the Aww. continent of Africa without me or without him rather. And mm -hmm. so um, for that, I'm very grateful. And it's not that he and the other daughters weren't supportive in that way. It was that they knew that that was not the journey that they were supposed to be right. on. And I understood mm -hmm. that. And mm -hmm. I agree with that. I don't want to be any, I would encourage any people who are wanting to move and you want your kids to move, don't guilt mm -hmm. trip them into it. Mm -hmm. Don't try to manipulate mm -hmm. them about it. Yeah. Just let them live the journey that they are supposed to live. If it is in their design, mm -hmm. if it is in their destiny, it will happen, but don't try to force it. And so, um, but my daughters have been supportive in different ways mm -hmm. to me during all of this. And I have been supportive to them. It's caused us to learn how to lean on each other in a very different way. So mm -hmm. it's gotcha. unveiled a new way of mm -hmm. us to be bonded, but uh, I do miss them. I know you do. Those are your babies. Those are my babies. Those are your babies. Yes. Of course you miss them. Adults and all. Uh, well, I'm, yeah. well, I'm hoping that your daughters will eventually come they here will. and experience Mama Ghana for themselves. They will, And be with sure. their mama as well. Thank so you. this lady right here, if you guys don't know, she is the jack of all trades. You are a major businesswoman. <laughs> you are the she boss, okay? <laughs> She was the she and she boss. Okay. So please can you share Thank with you. us your different businesses that you're doing here? Okay, so I have a consulting agency called mm -hmm. Lily's Consulting Solutions. And we offer a plethora, I love the word plethora. We offer plethora. a plethora <laughs> of consulting services, mm -hmm. whether that is for small to large corporations. Okay. We can come in and help structure an organization or a business. We learn how to teach people how to maximize their natural innate abilities okay. and we can help them learn how to align their cognitive cognitive mm. and affective parts of the brain Ooh. to help companies learn how to work in synergy mm -hmm. and basically bottom line increase your money <laughs> oh that's mm. the bottom line there it is increase some coins but also <laughs> helping the work talent i don't call mm -hmm. them staff per se i call them mm. the work talent helping the work talent 
have happier experiences because Aww. when people's staffs are happy, yeah. it causes the whole business to elevate. That's true. You know, yeah. people are doing jobs that they really don't like. They're mm -hmm. really feeling like they're not being utilized to the best of their ability or mm -hmm. they're not being trained properly. So we do a lot of different types of training. And okay. then I also do entertainment Ooh, consulting. Okay. So those that are artists or budding artists, mm -hmm. aspiring artists, I can help you get to where you want to be, whether that is vocal training or mm -hmm. I can help you learn the business of entertainment business because there is a business yes. and you better know the business. I don't That's care right. how good you can sing. <laughs> I don't care how well you dance. You better know the business. That's right. Okay. Mm. You know, and a lot of other areas that I can do consulting, family, mm. relationships, romance, husband, wife, singles. I can find you a date, not a person to date, but I can prepare you to be ready to date. Oh, that's a biggie. It's like, are you prepared? Mm -hmm. Ladies, are you prepared? Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, are you prepared yes, for that? Yes, so, because there's okay. a preparation that has to happen. Right. You know, is. just because they look fine don't mean that they fine for you. Mm. All right. Okay, listen, that's another tale for another time, exactly, huh, girl? Exactly, <laughs> absolutely. So I will be involved in some music events coming up. So in July on the 30th, I will be a part of Pepe Zumpe, Zumpe. So Pepe Zumpe, that is July 30th, and that's going to be at Pentecostal Church at Calvary Temple. Please look up the flyers on my social media pages, and then I'll be with Sika Music further down in July as well. So some great events coming up up in a YouTube channel, music channel coming up as well. Some Ooh, great stuff. Okay. <laughs> be there or be square. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So if anybody wanted to reach out, wants to reach out to you, how can they get in touch with you? So you can reach me at info at Lili's Consulting Solutions. That is L-E-L-E-S consultingsolutions.com and then also on WhatsApp at 233-050-858-7521 oh, and social media outlets also Instagram, Facebook, all that. We all there. All there. Okay. Yes. Wonderful, Miss Lili. <laughs> Alrighty, Leecha, we could talk for hours. We, we could, really, really I love can. You. Oh, I love you too. I'm so I happy really you are just being awesome. You're just awesome. Oh, well, same here. Why thank did you think I got you for the interview? Yeah, I was so like, I have to get my Leecha. I have you. to. So thank you so much for being on the oh, channel. I am totally you. honored. And thank you guys for tuning in. And please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this information Do with that. others. And give this video a huge thumbs up. It doesn't cost you guys anything. Until next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.